Good morning. How you doing? Right, just have to do the usuals. One minute. And then we'll talk about what we're doing today. Um, but you know, I was disappointed in um, not having to connect the quartz. Well, now we have a reason to connect the quartz. How many times are you going to make me copy and paste today? Okay, just twice. Alright, 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 alright. But yeah, um, I was, last time I was disappointed that it was a bit easy, that I didn't have to connect quartz well. Now we do have to connect quartz, and the reason for that these crystal oscillators. You know, to me, these looked like um, like circular, I don't know, circular saws. <laughs> Actually something completely different. Um, so, anyway, what we need to do is move some of these cables out of the way. <laughs> uh, Sensitivity is much lower today. Randomly. Great. So let's put this back to two. Okay, that's better. Although a little bit too much actually. Um, let's put that to 1.8. So what we need to do where we need to find the quartz on here. Here we go. So we have this source of quartz here. Now um, maybe there's some other source of quartz like that, but I'm not terribly interested in that. So what I will do is that I know that we have a shipping lane that already gets us all the way back here. So um, I want to make use of that and sort of connect the quartz in. Now one of the challenges that we'll have is that um, you know, there's a number of stations, like there's a station here, there's a station here, there'll be a station here, um, and there is a station here that we will want to use. Well, what I should probably do is just ship the quartz here and then add um, another platform. Well, certainly over here, and maybe in the other places as well to get the quartz home using the existing trains. Because otherwise it's going to be kind of hard to, um, to jam all of those trains on there. Otherwise I'd have to build like, probably have to build like bypasses around each of the stations. So yeah, let's do that. So that's the plan. We're going to have the trains deliver more material to here using this shipping lane. Now, one of the problems hmm, the thing is that, you know, we also actually want to connect more um, steel things as well using um, this coal and I think there's some iron ore here eventually because we're going to need to scale that production quite a bit um, so I might just have to build those bypasses anyway 
Alright, let's build the bypasses and we'll have um, maybe another station that's sort of designed for the um, steel as well as the quartz crystals. Um, right, I need to actually put together the materials that we need to think about that in a little bit. Alright. Let's offload some of these materials that I don't really need. Take put that back. Um Okay. So what do we need? We will need, well, let's clear all of this, um, maybe another 200 foundations. Um, definitely two train stations. Yeah, two train stations. One, two freight platforms, and hmm. so what I'm thinking about here is whether, like, how would we connect up all of this? Maybe that call will just be one train that's again sharing this whole network, just dropping off the... Well, but having that many train stations is going to be annoying. So then we would need this sort of line to be able to carry iron ore, coal, quartz, plus the two steel well, I could make it four by just carrying the steel ingots back here and sort of feeding that into our existing steel um, steel refining. The thing is that I kind of rather would have all of that over here and just get the materials that we need delivered. Because you don't really need to do anything with the steel ingots other than... I mean, I guess you can also make containers and that sort of stuff. Hmm. So then it would be four. That would be very confusing. I mean, the alternative is that we build another direct delivery. But I prefer to be using existing because that's a lot of like that's a long distance to go here. <laughs> so well how about we, we do this? So we just sort of focus on the quartz delivery, make this train just carry the quartz home and we'll do the steel separately and yes we will need more train stations but all right probably need like eight of these or something like that maybe 200 railway um two electric locomotives maybe f four well, let's do three. Um, okay. Is this all we need? Okay, we also need production, the Mark II minus two of these. Probably, again, like 200 of these. And like, I don't know, 200 of these. 
um, power like 20 uh, 50 okay so we can mine it we'll be able to connect the power we'll be able to lift it up of foundations we already got it so we can build those um, we have the train network which needs to have signals train stations, locomotives, track I think we're good to go alright so we have most of the materials, we just need a few beacons here so let's build those I'll make 20 beacons here Alright, so we need some motors, we have enough for those, I'm pretty sure. It's just, um, like some of these rods. So yeah, we need to grab motors and some steel pipes and some iron plates, and we're good to go. Alright, then we can start on this side. You know, I've be good if the train network trains were not as sort of the platforms were not as wide they're like super wide so we might have to just stack them on top of each other or something I don't really see another way of doing it let's see how we're doing with iron plates as well At some point we will need to improve this production. Both of these are hooked onto here. Let's see if there's any thing that's available. Right, I have to land here. definitely need to boost this iron production and we have more iron ore lying around so it's all good it's just that we have to do it at some point okay so here are the plates so they're again very empty let's take these and these okay now it's just oops, let's see plates. Okay, we've got plenty of those. Okay, now I have to grab some steel. Well, Where's the spare iron ore? I mean, okay, this iron ore here is sort of not being used as much. I think the spare iron ore would be like under there somewhere and what we could do is just feed it into there, boost this production to level 5 and then sort of do that. I think that wouldn't take very long and we would actually be able to make 
make use of it now. Alright. Okay. Play this in the way. So this is delivering into here, and then what we can do is just upgrade this, and then probably double this production line. this so that at least we get construction materials um, all the time like I'm not actually going to um, boost the lift rate here because that's not really the problem that we have at the moment it's just the iron plate production here. Okay. Cool. So that now has a lot more. And how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why is it seven? All right, let's do... Um, Let's do another nine. Zoop. Okay, let's see. Production smelter. time I got it right. We'll see in a minute. making iron ingots. Can 
nice. It should act, you know, this should actually help with the production down the line because, you know, we didn't have, we probably weren't lifting at the full rates that we could have been lifting up to that production. So, uh, but hopefully there's enough spare that we get from this that um, you know at least when we want to connect collect our materials that we actually can. into here, which is lovely. Okay, and what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we can also double this. Hopefully this doesn't get in the way. to have a lot of this material but yeah not anymore oops come on no ho, 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 ho. why why did the constructors go in the wrong direction Supposedly about quartz making scaling your iron production. Well, sometimes you just need more materials to be able to do what you need to do. So, okay. I assume these guys just don't have material. Oh, they're starting to. Okay. Major. Okay, this is again. 
again where the input buffers are filling up. I do need to make sure that you know we have all the materials again. Okay, cool. So now there should be storage in here because the input rates should be higher than it can collect the output. Okay, good. Not quite the full rate, but, you know, I wasn't really expecting that. Anyway. Alright. It's like delivering all the material into here. Well. Eventually this should fill up. Because now we have three for free. But anyway, um, I guess the other thing I could do is I could put some boosters in. But all right, so let's put this back to two hundred. Want this to go to two hundred. Yes, we need some more outclad pipes and stuff. Okay. I think this production should sort itself out over time. Okay, for the steel pipes, I think this one will be the one. See, this is why we need more steel production. Okay. Here we go, steel pipes. Let's grab a few of those. Okay, that's all good. And now it's just some motors and alcohol. So I'll go to the top and we should be able to grab what we need there. And then we're ready with the next train station as well. Yeah, it would be good if the train stations weren't as wide. Then you could fit more of them next to each other. I guess one thing that we could do is, I hmm, don't know if I want to do that, like we could branch after the station, but then, oops, um, the problem with that is that, um, the problem with branching after the station is that you then have to wait for the trains to go through the station. Right, let's put those back, grab another 50. Okay, then we just need some more L-clad aluminium. We don't even have this production turn on at the moment. I guess we don't really need to until, you know, we want to produce the phase four items level and this should be the 
first of the aluminium. So now the tricky bit is how do we add another line to this, right? So what we could do is that we could draw us another one out to here, right? Sort of go around. Or of course we could do something around here or we can do a branch and go down and build something underneath or maybe even on top probably on top let's do on top right so we'll just put a whole bunch of um, walls on the side here So I think it's nine. Nine walls. Okay, let's jump onto this container here. Maybe one more, and we should good. Then we'll put a lid on it. You know, the steel can probably go like underneath this because it needs to arrive at a lower level. Then we need to essentially have a maybe a two two meter steep decline. All right, so where does the front of the train station below start? Okay, about here. So transportation train station okay that's going the right direction so this is um what would we call this this is quartz
now it just has quartz. Um, and then we'll put one front platform and then just a few empties, maybe two empties. Okay. And then we need to draw this one, two, three, three is like, let's see. The most interesting part here will be how have we managed to vertic like the signals? Essentially, this up here needs to be a different block than the block below. So what I'm thinking is that we make this block the vertical bit. So what we need to do here is actually go sideways just a little bit. Let's go straight for one tick. And this can connect. Right? And then we essentially need another signal at the same level, but we probably will put the signal like on here. So this bit should count as a different block than the intersection. So now what we need is like a two meter ramp and then just get it down to that level. give it like three straight oops a couple uh, a three to merge so let's see one two three can connect to here. Right. And now this needs to essentially go into into here, right? So then this part here is they can either go straight or they go through here. And this whole thing should count as a single block. Now usually what you do is you put like signals right in front of this intersection, but I think we'll manage it like this for now. I know this clips, but whatever. to set this to unload and then essentially on the other side we might use this part as the downward track don't know yet we'll see and we might need a few locomotives maybe we'll put another locomotive on the back for these trains That's straight away, it looks like one, two, three, four. Okay. 
these straight bed yes there is. I know that I've recently started to use a different technique. But hey. Okay. What do you mean I can't afford that? Well, probably because the walls are way more expensive. Maybe what I need to do here is just go to like 300 foundations. What does a wall cost? It costs the same. I guess we did use a lot of walls. Okay. For each terminal velocity. of these and then we can also go up here Also, will want the um, concrete. So I think this second one will be good for the concrete. But yeah, I always seem to run out of the um, the stuff faster than I expect the. Um, concrete and iron plates. I don't know why. It's usually because you're building something that's not on the list, but like that you haven't put in. But it doesn't feel quite right. Like I was just doing walls and stuff over there. Anyway, okay, we'll take like a bunch of this. Plenty of inventory slots. Alright. I'm interested to see how the trains end up working. Very, very interested. The next one up will probably have to use um, like the four, you know, the four meter slopes. And then we can probably put another one like underneath, another couple underneath, with the first being the two meter and the second being the four meter slopes. And then we'll have to figure out new tricks. Um, after that. So the aim is going to be to try to get, um, you know, this side joined up at the same place. But we'll see how we go with that. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. So this is where we could start to draw it down. So over there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we might be able to do it. I'll just delay this curve by one. And then what we can see foundations. I don't think we 
can do it over here. So what we need to happen here is for the curve to stop what here. So two back. I think we can do that. So I'm going to aim to get ourselves sort of level with that. Um, so what we can do is we can get rid of this. We can also get rid of this section. And we can continue the curve here straight away. And then build from here, right? And then the sort of end point of the curve needs to be like one offset from this thing right here right Here it's down at the same rate. Okay. What do we have on that side? Okay, so that works might have to line up this a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. Transportation railway. Okay, one, two, three. Let's yeah, see how that's just a little bit. Let's get this train going. This track needs to disappear. Okay. Railway track is too long. Okay, cool. curve has to stop like right here oh my god that's gonna be very difficult very very difficult okay one two three but it's just gonna look kind of messy So now it's all connected through. Well, not quite. We just need to connect that bit. And then we need a signal up here. Um, like a block signal right here. 
So now this section and that section should count as its own block, right? So the trains, even whilst there is a train up here, we should be able to have two, you know, one train on top of each other here. Okay. And yeah, the um, the third level would just sort of branch off maybe a little bit earlier, still on the same path, and um, just rise faster. All right. So let's try and catch one of these trains all the way to the end, which is where we need to go here to connect the quartz. <laughs> Scary. Don't really know how those work because the um, like the wheels are like sort of like that. So how is it? How can you merge something in? But anyway, it doesn't have to make sense. Like, see how the wheels are like that? Like, if there's a train track that's merging, I don't see how that works. But whatever. Let's see if these trains can pass each other easily. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're going all the way to the other end here. And then we will be, once we have this call, we need to extend the line a little bit. So yes, we have a turnaround here. So we'll just sort of extend the line and connect into that turnaround um, over there. I hope I have my jetpack on. Okay. But first, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in one moment. Oops.
was thinking about this, and I'm not sure if it's a good idea, actually. <laughs> because it's going to be really hard to bypass all of these stations. Like, the only thing that I can think of is that we, like, I don't know, we connected back, like, to here. But that's such a long distance. It's basically like going from here all the way back. Otherwise, we will have to jam like so many more trains through this. And I'm not sure if like a bypass is actually going to do anything. Like if we build track that sort of goes around. Well, I mean, we can try that. have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, actually, no, it's probably not going to work. I was thinking that we could build, like, train tracks on top. Which we probably can. But it just, it doesn't reuse all of this very efficiently. So, where would the quartz be? That's, that would help me to know that. Okay, so it's that way. 640 meters that way. How oh, south? Oh, that's sort of southeast. I do think we would be better off building a train network that just goes straight back. But I would so prefer to use this train network and feed it into it. I think there's still too many trains on here. Let's let me destroy these. That helps, presumably. But yeah, it would be so much easier because this is just like 650 versus like so much further. Plus, it would be really cool to have more trains go through here. And I guess it only really has to be two trains or maybe three trains, and they would just straight, you know, go straight through here. So what else could we do? We could essentially draw from over there to over here. So what we could do is that we could like just go like this straight um, east from over here somewhere. Maybe when the track is sort of straight here, we can draw it off and like add a little bit of height before it turns and then okay yes we have to but I mean we could also just sort of branch it off before it joins here so then we would essentially be transporting it like this right so it's easier than connecting something sort of like this it's only like a shorter hop um, all right let's let's do that instead then And I reuse like most of the track, but um, at least it doesn't have to go over like this busy side. Where it's like collecting three materials.
think this is now probably at the right number of trains so they don't have to wait Of walking here, maybe I even catch up to that train. So, yeah, we'll have to build in another, another break, another block here for the maybe what we'll do is that we'll put it onto here. something in the middle here yeah uh, okay so there's something here and here so where's the quartz nowhere okay pretty much straight east from here so let's do, yeah, where is this railway? Okay, right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll do something like this for the exit, then two, and then one, two, three, and then this is where we just go straight over there. So one, two, three. Okay. So the trains are going in this direction. So we'll put another block signal right here. And then we just need to lift this to two before we sort of move it over. So let's try and make that happen. Try and put this in as close to the same location as possible. So let's let's make this the space for the interconnect. So we can get rid of that. Okay. And then we just need to lift it by, let's say, four. One, two, three, four. Well, let's put in one more straight foundation. One, two, three, four. Mm. Maybe another two. Okay. And then here to level it out. And then one, two, three. Yep, I know it's four, but that's fine. So then we go one, two, three. 
make it your straight for a little bit. Um, then I guess we can get this to go down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I think is the right amount. Right, level it out, and then we'll go one, two, three. We'll get this aligned. straight line and this is the straight line okay this is the plan um, transportation railway so let's go to here okay is probably fine and to maybe here okay so let's then connect this okay and then we have like this okay maybe we'll do a little bit here right um, and then do what is that do something like this okay and then you know up here we need like okay we'll have to get rid of this as well wider curve that's fine one two as short as possible okay and then so you go like sort of down here okay cool right so and then we need a block signal going in this So that says no because there's a train already down here. Still says no. And it should say yes. Yep. Okay. So now we've made this one block and that one block. Um, okay. And now we can just draw all the way to the quartz. do anything with walls here All right, let's do a little bit with walls like, here we go. 
sort of as support. You know? All right. Maybe one more here. a little bit better okay I'm glad like this sort of signal being broken that's terrible this signal being broken doesn't actually break the other stuff so that's good game design there I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the well I hope that we'll be able to at least build out to the um, quartz, but we'll see how we go. Still quite a ways off here. Uh, David, you are asking the chains to go back the way they've come. Yeah, it's too bad, really. underneath us. Interesting. Ooh. Scary. How far away is the quartz now? Okay, it's still quite far away. 600 meters. draw the tracks backwards the first time around then on the way back we'll put in the paths the block signals okay that's 300 meters away So it's like over there somewhere. So it would be good to actually draw this out to there a little bit at least. It's like pretty much below me here. Yeah. All right. So, which side do we want to draw up? 
probably on on this side. Okay. So let's put in the third one here. Here we will do a turnaround. Two, three. And then take this backwards. All right, let's put that in. One, two. at least let this go straight for sort of four so that you know we can draw this oops come on okay and now we will just join this up or well, the alternative is that yeah we'll just build back to here okay right Okay, cool. Let's draw this track on this side. And then we can join the track back up over there. So, one, two, three. So, we want to go to here. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, and now this track also needs to come back. Well, we're almost done. Just need to draw up the material. One, two, three. Right, one, two, three. Okay, close from here. It. We need to be a bit closer here. Okay, so that's connected, and then we can connect this. See that I can actually see, so I do trust it. Okay, let's hook that into there. And now we just have to get these railways back. Make sure that we keep a reasonable distance between them. Let's 
that straight? We'll just have to draw further to the side a little bit to make sure it stays straight. Okay. Yeah, look at how cheap this track is. It's that's the reason for these trains. How inexpensive the track is. Like we drew this all the way. Imagine if we'd done a conveyor belt like this. How expensive that would be. Here it just costs like eight steel beams and eight steel pipes. Super cheap. suspicious of this line. We'll see. That section, I should say. Okay, maybe a couple more here. to here and then connect that up and okay I think this will need just one more okay so that's all connected and now we need to take out these block signals um eh, not here yet Yeah, not here yet. One more section. Okay, here we go. Stick that one there. Where's this one? Okay, cool. Nice. So both of those work. Also tells me that the track is all good. one more block here or one more section let's see that's pretty far away now okay and then we'll do one more before the station and one after it Maybe just before this turn, we'll do one more. And then we should be good to go. I wonder what that is. Right, here we go. And Ooh, okay. I living a dangerous life here. Okay, so we'll call this Mexico City, no, um, Quartz, so let's put on a electric and then it, oops, just need 
it's a freight, one freight car. Um, um, okay. Um, we're going in this direction, please. Okay, so you are going to quartz delivery and then quartz and turn on self-driving. Okay, get yourself out of here. They'll draw something out like this and then go all the way down. this foliage a little bit I still don't see the quartz it's not down here must be below. Right, let's see. Must be in the cave. Alright. So, do some more rams. Let's do like five ramps. Right, let's get rid of this. No, I don't have enough material. Okay, so let's quickly save before cave. Okay. In case I die here. Alright, get over here. Alright, so where's this quartz then? Is it like still further down in this cave? Yeah, okay, we found the two quartz right there. Okay, so we need an equipment workshop production. Ooh, that sucks. All right, let's grab some of the this back. OK, 
Okay. Um, okay, we need four of these. One, two, three, and a four. Okay, hopefully that's enough for these miners. that power slug okay I think this should be fine this probably made four or something like that I don't want to go down there because there are probably enemies down there as well So I need to get a conveyor belt lifting all the way up here. All right, let's try and get um, um, don't actually know if I want to connect these together or Ah, let's connect them together. I don't think they're going to be able to keep up for now anyway. Okay, so let's put together a lifter. that power pole. Okay. I think we should be okay now. Then it's just a matter of getting it out here and then lifting. Um, like if we get it to maybe, yeah, right here. Ok, 
kind of want it like this, I think. And then we can do the lift to definitely to there. Right, let's keep taking the power. This will be interesting. Eventually we should just get quartz on there once we connect this power. Might take a second. So then from here, we need more iron plates. Right, I know a source of iron plates. Now, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Like too much. have six iron plates. So I'm going to have to make it work with a very small number here. Alright, we can take this. Alright, so just need to Okay, so this is lined up with that, right, with this gap. So we just need to go to here. Right, let's just lift it to there and then we'll see what we do when we get up there. You can always trim back some of these. Oh, I need to keep grabbing the power. Let's connect the power up first, all the way to the top. Um, so that we start to get material. If everything works well. Um, okay. Right. So we just need to draw it forward ever so slightly further. Maybe a couple more here. does have quite a distance to go, so, alright, let's see, ooh, look at that, we're getting quartz, And the thing came back, so it must be working for the most part. Boy, are these spiders annoying. Alright. Um, now, where's this guy at? I do want to ride the train at some point. I think it's waiting like somewhere right there. Okay, so you can see that it's entered the intersection. So let's get the next one connected and we'll write the last one back.
built it on top of yourself. Okay. Let's set this guy up. Start with quartz delivery, then go there. Turn on self drive. Okay, we've sent that guy off. Let's wait for him to. So you can see that train is like right there. So let's wait for this train to come out of the other side there, like to finish going through the station, and then we'll put on the third one. Start with the quartz delivery. Um, okay, it's starting to come back over. Oh no, it's only just started to go. Okay, and that's where that one is. So let's turn on self driving. then we should be getting quartz now as well which is excellent and we have a pretty good source as well we can you know with the next level of miners we can boost that as well which is good very interested to see how this intersection works probably need to increase the number of blocks here because it's quite a busy intersect, busy train network now. All right, here we go. That one goes and then turns. I should have probably waited a little bit longer because um, like these guys don't have to wait on the other end at the moment. See, there goes that one. There get, goes that one. And that train just arrives at that station over there. Okay. I'm expecting that this is going to be like a pretty busy section of track. stuff we can still like make this the steel delivery um, and don't have to change those trains um, because you know we can just put like an empty um, freight car there and then two to deliver the steel here um, we'll probably do that uh, and yeah before we finish I just want to see one of these trains come back and deliver stuff here deliver quartz um, and then we can continue next time to actually build out the quartz production line because I do have to finish a little bit early today right um, I think we probably will need four trains on this one here I don't know now nah, let's go with three and, and sort of react to problems rather than sort of put a, too many trains on this path right. could improve the look of this by adding more more of these walls for support okay I think that's is that one of the trains coming to here I think it is oh no it might be another one that's delivering down there 
I think that one must be one of the ones delivering up here. I think it got stuck behind this train a little bit. Now the perfect spacing out isn't going to happen anymore because we have like two lines on top of each other. Right, there you go. Looks like they're bringing quartz, so that's excellent. That's exactly what we want. And then yeah, we will have all the materials here at our main factory again. what the point was all along. Yeah. I think these trains are just not perfectly spaced out at the moment. They should improve their spacing out. Because you can see... I don't know, is that train coming up here? I don't think it is. No, it's delivering downstairs. I think that's the next one. Actually, I think this is fine. But probably okay. Okay, so it's just delivered all of that quartz. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellent turn of events here. Very pleased. <laughs> so now we have connected up this quartz into the network as well. Um, at some point, I still want to, you know, um, like if we turn on the iron ore, like there's just a perfect opportunity to transport that coal to somewhere over here, um, do all of our steel production, and then deliver like the processed steel, um, like to these two platforms here. Um, that would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, we, that one might be a little bit more complicated because we actually would need to enter the transportation network right here. Maybe what we would do is have an intersection like over here somewhere after after this train station and we would just sort of join in here. Um, or maybe um, join up at like the existing intersection that we have like somewhere over here. So those are some of the options. Um, because then that it would only need to go onto the main line for a while and then disconnect from the main line anyway because I'm pretty sure this line sort of goes in this direction for a while and then it comes straight over here I think like this a little bit but yeah but yeah those are all future plans oh hello another one okay anyway so um, thank you for watching and until next time bye